Resolution meow. Or get buff, fluff, and gruff. So you get yourself a gym member membership, and you are wondering where to start. Figuring that you are just going to act smart by doing what everyone else is doing. You don't trust politicians, world leaders, newscasters, old classmates, and even your kids, to be frank. But you are going to trust the bros to show you the real deal. I am happy to say that they are all absolutely wrong. Everyone had the same idea as you and copied some original guy. And the original guy did ask the trainer, but the trainer lied. He just didn't have very many machines at his gym. And it was a very small place. And everyone would always hug the dumb dumbbells. So he made this thing up about sets and reps, and it freaking worked. People started switching from one place to another. They stopped hugging all the equipment and started shuffling and sitting around and waiting for rest. But sets and reps are a terrible idea, precisely because they encourage resting. There's no rest at the gym, uh-uh. You can't stop, pause, or anything, really. You have to plow forward like a cat. You have to express your needs to your body clearly and without any confusion. And it just so happens that no rest, non-stop, every day, fast and frequent, actually does send a pretty clear message, and the body will adapt. So that is basically the main thing. No sitting, always, always moving, and you can't really take a break, because that will confuse your body. At first, you can pause for a little while to let your arms or legs recover. But as you warm up and adapt, you have to eliminate all the resting, all of it. All of it has to go. And even during your rest periods, you still have to keep moving whatever limbs are not tired. Taking a walk around the gym while mostly holding onto dumbbells above your head actually works out pretty great. Your arms get to rest, and because everything is sitting on your shoulders, things aren't really that tiring, and you're still getting a kind of a miniature workout while you are resting to recover for the big one. And you have to start in the beginning. You can't lift 10 pounds 10 times. You have to lift 2 pounds 10 or 20,000 times. Until you feel that you can do that with 3 pounds or 5 pounds and then 8 pounds and then the big one, the 1-0. Oh. Yikes. Full body motion is a must. Slowly twisting and turning is important. It's just how human beings are built. And you get to keep moving all four limbs, both legs and arms at the same time. Otherwise, you will slow your progress down. You just gotta move all over. And what you are looking for is the part where you feel that you can't really lift anymore, you're just exhausted. If you are not finding that, then you are already too strong for two or three pound weights, and you got to do more. You got to go for the unholy fives. They will be a whopper at first. You need music. 
And you need to synchronize your motion to the beat to distract yourself away from quitting. I personally highly recommend a vintage cassette player or an MP3 player if you must. You will need uninterrupted hours of fresh songs all the time. And you really want to have that ability to switch to a different tape and just keep moving. Start with lifting to slow songs and then keep going until 150 beat per minute songs. So that will be one beat for up and one beat for down. Eventually, you will be lifting 80 to 90 times per minute. And that will be two or three hours per day, five or seven days a week. And you know, it will feel great. Now, there's that tiny hurdle to get over when you start working out, and that is wisely eliminating your rest periods. You do this the same way that the joggers do it. They do have to stop for a little while at first, and then they just kind of close up their rest periods and can chug along non-stop. You have to gradually decrease rest time and slowly pick up speed. There exist free apps and actual clip-on belt gadgets for that. They are called interval timers. You set how long you can work out for and how long your breaks need to be to recover and then it will let you set the number of repetitions so you aim for something like 20, 40 or 60 minutes and hit start. It will give you a moment and then vibrate to tell you you need to start lifting. And then, after a little while, it will vibrate again to tell you that you can rest. It will not be very long before you eliminate all the rest. It will be a real achievement and keep you adjusting all kinds of different parameters for years, including your socks. And how odd is that? Finally, Notice how much effort goes into non-stop lifting. You even have to get a tiny gadget that vibrates to help you keep time. This should convince you that lifting something few times and then sitting around for a long time is just no good. It doesn't work. It's just a fantasy workout. Sorry. And you know what else? And I actually cannot stress this enough. Because we are all taught that it's all about diet and exercise. And I think that's wrong. It's about no rest, non-stop, high frequency, every day and long duration workout. Diet doesn't really make sense because you will need all the nutrients to recover quickly. So you need a really varied mix of vegetables and meats. Um, you can't do calorie restriction when you go to the gym. Then the word exercise doesn't hint on anything. It doesn't really mean much. And you see that most people just kind of convince themselves that they're exercising while sitting around. So diet and exercise is wrong advice. It's, again, no rest, non-stop, high frequency, every day and long duration. And it's so important that you work out every day or at least five days in a row per week that you actually have to go out there and pay for a gym membership so that you have proper climate control. Otherwise, weather will push you away from exercise. It will destabilize your routine. Finally, please dress nicely. At the gym, wearing black does not mean ninja. It means fear. 
you must have no fear you must never surrender and never retreat in return you will become young again beautiful and mighty you will double your natural lifespan and age gracefully and beautifully <laughs>